Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. I appreciate you joining me today, clicking on this video, taking the time out of your day. I really, really appreciate that. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'm having a good one because we're about to react to NFL helmets, but branded as NHL teams. Bit of an F NFL NHL crossover here. And of course, we're using the sports templates, uh, you know, football helmet template. If you guys are interested in that, you can head on over to sportstemplates.net. You'd co use code post to post, save yourself 10%. You guys know the drill. And this is going to be a reaction video. I've not seen these before, okay? So you're going to see them for the first time. I'm going to see them for the first time. The designer here is Tech Matt. Actually, we've looked at his work uh, recently here on the channel. So here's the thing. If you're new to this channel, so, you know, sometimes when, when I do other sports other than hockey, like the NFL or whatever, I get some new people watching the videos, maybe some NFL fans watching this. If that's you, guess what? There's more NFL content coming to the channel because currently I'm doing NHL arenas and flights in, flying over them. Every NHL team's getting its own video. I'm doing the same thing coming up on the channel and doing every single NFL team, flying over the stadiums, checking them out, and just having some fun. So if that interests you and you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. That would mean a lot. See you in the future. But for right now, we gotta get into these helmets. These are by um, abbreviation. So Anaheim is first. Let's go. Wow. Okay. This is actually may, this actually may be a first on the channel. I do not remember ever uh, kind of reviewing or reacting to or ranking any kind of football hem, football helmet on the channel. So this is very exciting for me. And what a great start. I mean, Anaheim, they've got that orange and the black that just popped together. I'm never really a fan of that cotton coffee cream co color, but uh, it doesn't look too bad here. I find the logo kind of blends in a little bit too much uh, with the background because of all the striping. If that logo was just you know right on the black, I think it would stand out um, quite a bit more. But uh, what a great start. I think this is going to be an interesting video. Thanks for sending these in, Tech Matt. Next up is Arizona. Next up is Arizona. Oh, he's done something wonderful here. He has taken the Kachina pattern and putting it, in, and he, he put it into the entire strap. Like, what a great decision and a really cool template, by the way. Like, the fact that you can kind of change the strap is is amazing. Matt, I love that decision. That was such a great decision to put that in there and totally makes sense. It's a sit like, this is a silly video, right? I mean, never in the history of anything would the NHL make football helmets like it doesn't even make sense but the artistry behind it the design behind it the potential brand behind an nfl team with hockey influence or nhl influence is really interesting to think about and i think just from uh you know from from that standpoint from that viewpoint even though this is silly i could kind of see an interesting brand here kind of taking form and taking shape and uh, i would i would support this one i like this one a lot next boston okay Simple team, old school, original six team. Why not translate that uh, in, a, in a football helmet? And that's exactly what he did. He kept it simple. Looks like there's some striping you know, coming up on there. You can barely see that. But just a black helmet, just a really simple black helmet with the Boston Bruins logo up there. I think, you know, that's if Boston Bruins were going to play football, this seems like plausible. This seems pretty plausible. Next up, Buffalo. Okay. I mean, I, I love the colors, obviously. You guys know that. But uh, yeah, again, for a pretty simple helmet here, and uh, I can't, I can't not like this. I mean, the colors are just too amazing. Next up, Carolina. Okay, so another simple uh, helmet design here. You can see kind of the warning symbol coming coming across the forehead and, and along the top, which is nice. The logo. I think I would prefer actually a black helmet here. I think the logo would stand out a little bit more. I do find the logo gets a gets lost a little bit in the red. Next, <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Okay, Columbus Blue Jackets. <laughs> The, the like the last two were pretty simple i just wasn't expecting anything like this for the next one i'm, I'm glad it's in there though this gives the helmet a little personality but a little bit of character and brings life to it as well and if you think about goldie helmets actually in, in the nhl they do this a lot they put characters on the helmet and cartoons and scenes and stuff so i think this is maybe a little bit silly but i you know it's a standout helmet so far in this one so this one's this one might be my, my favorite actually other than that arizona one next Calgary. Oh, look how the black strap actually just kind of like leads right into the logo. That's great. And then the Alberta provincial flag on the back of the helmet too. This is, this is pretty nice. I like this one a lot. Next up, Chicago. So, you know, a similar design here. We've got the Chicago Blackhawks logo on the side and then their alternate logo on the back. Sometimes you see that, or I guess most of the time you see that on the shoulder on their home in the way jersey for Chicago. So yeah, of course that's got to go on there. Next up, Avalanche. Wow. 
this is a cool design just because it's split. Like the top is at the burgundy, and then the bottom is that beautiful blue color, but in between it's split by the white and the black stripe, but not just a stripe. It's representing the mountains of Colorado and stuff. So some really good symbolism in here. And uh, yeah, colors, beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Next, Dallas. Okay, <laughs> this is actually really cool. So we've got um, almost a blackout jersey happening here, but not the neon green, more of the the victory green as we know it. And then he's putting he's put some stars in here, okay? So we've got an actual technical scene that's going on here. It does look a little bit like snow, so, you know, if I were to offer any kind of uh, constructive feedback or criticism, it would be, you know, throw the odd little nebula or galaxy or something in there. Um, that'd, that'd be cool. Next up, Detroit. Wow. I'm just throwing... Wait, hold on. What's going on here? The logo is... Com like, there's, a, there's two logos going on here. There's a main logo, and then there's another logo that's been inverted and... Inver yeah, inverted horizontally and then switched... And then is there another logo that is mirrored and then inverted color? This is this is messing with my mind a little bit. What's going on here? I like it. I like I really like it. But there is definitely something crazy going on with the logo. This is the first white helmet, so I mean I, I can't not like it. It's a it's a standout so far. Next up. The Oilers, that or orange helmet looks really good. I'm a little critical of their home jersey because it is primarily orange like this, but on a helmet. I don't know, maybe it's because it's new. This is like football helmets are a little bit new to me, but still, that vibrant orange contrasted with the deep ocean river navy blue just looks so good. So this one, this one looks awesome. Next up is Florida. Wow, so much going on. A variation of the original logo. Uh, they've got the alternate logo in here as well and behind. It's a little bit busy in that entire section, but uh, I do I do like it. The colors, I think going with red as the primary color here was the right decision. Uh, I do like this one. I don't think I've disliked really any so far. Next, LA. Oh, okay. Mid, like early 2000s, mid 2000s vibes coming from this one. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more life, lifelike than uh, their current jerseys with no color. So love to see the purple in here. This isn't, the, you know, the direction that I would have gone, but it is not the wrong direction. It's pretty good. I like this one. Next, Minnesota. I mean, it, anything Minnesota. It, it's really hard to dislike anything Minnesota. I almost have to force myself to dislike some of the Christmas jersey concepts sometimes, but I can't not like this. I mean, that is, that's a nice helmet. I like the off-white decision here with the logo um, and, um, or sorry, the, uh, you know, like the cage and, and the straps and stuff. Next up, Montreal. I like the stripe in the background. That was a pretty good decision. I worry a little bit about like this section. So the stripe comes in right here and then converges with the stripe coming down here. If you're looking at this face on, it might look like you're wearing like one of those flashlight headlamps or something, or like a GoPro head strap or something. But anyway, that's that's a silly comment. Uh, I of course I like this. It's Montreal Canadiens. Next, whoa, this is kind of crazy. Like, there's actual smoke in there as well. I thought it was just fire at first, but there's 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 actual smoke and there's horns. Like there's the devil's horns in there too. And a gradient, man, you got me with the gradient, okay? I love me some gradients, especially on helmets. So if I'm an opposing player, and I'm, you know, I'm ready to go, okay? The play's about to start, and I'm looking dead ahead at my opponent. That's an intimidating helmet. And I can just picture the uniform kind of mimicking maybe a little bit of gradients in it as well. This is a cool helmet. The fire is a little, like, out of focus, or not out of focus. It's, uh, it's up -resed and stuff, so it's... There are some pixelation issues and resolution issues, but still, I like the idea. There's a really cool, uh, really cool innovation with this one. Very modern. Next up, Nashville. I'm very critical of Nashville and their jerseys being yellow, but in the helmet, it kind of works. I do like the helmet. You can also see the piano keys starting to come up on the forehead there and the stripe uh, look coming back. And then actually, down below, I didn't see this at first. I just noticed this. Down below, that bottom strap where that latches in, that kind of shell area is made to look like, uh, you know, the piano keys as well. That's a great, what a great decision. He's actually made some really cool decisions here as far as picking the color on each specific, like, locker or, you know, latch or whatever, because the one in the logo is colorized blue to kind of blend in with the logo, and then the other ones with the helmet. Yeah, this, this is cool. This is a cool helmet. Next up, the Islanders. Okay, so pretty typical decision here. I like the, the logo being that big. Uh, pretty generic for the most part, like, and that's not I mean that in a, in a negative way. It's a 
It's hard not to like, it looks good. I've liked every one of these so far. Next, Rangers, pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, this looks very football. It does not feel unnatural. It feels like very natural. So I would uh, I would like this one as well if it were if it were real. Ottawa. Oh wow, that is a nice clean helmet. I love the white helmet, but then everything else is either colorized or it's black. The 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 uh, what you call it the strap the actual strap fabric that is black. The latches are red. The cage is, is black. And then there's a little bit of texture as well, kind of up on the you know the side, the forehead area. I really like this one a lot. This one's very clean. This one might be one of my favorites so far, if not my favorite. This one's awesome. Next, oh Philadelphia. So I did decide to wear Philadelphia for this video today. Uh, just you know, just coincidence that uh, that this is one of the better ones that we've looked at so far. The Liberty Bell in the background. Actually, you know what? The logo kind of bleeds into the into the background a little bit. I think the main issue that I have, and I might date myself a little bit here. All you younger folk won't even know what this is, but a rotary style telephone that used to sit on two notches like this, and then you, you know you picked it up and that's what the top looks like to me. Above the Philadelphia Flyers logo, it looks like a rotary style telephone sitting on its um, its hinges there, just waiting to be just waiting to be used. And now that I've seen that, I can't unsee it. <laughs> so I would say that uh, I would not put that on this on this helmet. I might just put the logo or you know something else. Next up, Pittsburgh. Okay, so lovely logo choice here. That logo actually looks phenomenal on this helmet. It looks really, really good. Now, is that logo mirrored? I don't know if my mind's like playing tricks on me a little bit, but if I remember correctly, that logo is the other way around. That logo has been mirrored horizontally. And that penguin is actually looking the opposite direction in the original logo. But to be fair, he's gone with the same directional look of the helmet for every single one. So if it was the other way, it would have the proper looking logo. So I, I can't criticize him too much because I think maybe it should look, you know, it should look forward instead of backwards. Because you can see the other logo down there, the other version of it, which is the more modern version, or I guess maybe the original version, is looking the proper way. I don't think it matters that much. I just just wanted to point it out. Next up, see. Oh wow, Seattle. This is so good. Look what he's done. Oh, so good. Alternate logo, which is the, the you know the anchor, but also the space needle at the same time. But then you've got the actual primary Seattle Kraken logo intertwined like around there. That is phenomenal. And the straps being in that teal color with a bit of the color of the red in the eye. This is an amazing helmet. I love this one. This one is so good. Next up, San Jose. Another great one with a gradient. I like some gradients in helmets. That's that's really cool. A very simple helmet. I mean, you know, that's the only kind of stylistic thing that's going on here in this helmet is the gradient, but it definitely, definitely works. Next, St. Louis. Wow. The arch. Very overpowering here. It looks... Yeah, I don't know. If you were looking at this... If you were looking at a certain angle here, because there's another one I can kind of see, you know, the stripe kind of coming. Maybe that's just a stripe, but there would be another one on the other side. It might look like the McDonald's logo. And I think because of that, that one's probably going to be a miss for me, but maybe it wouldn't look like that. I don't know, but uh, we'll say average for this one. Next, Tampa Bay. Okay, very simple. Original style logo or old school, old school, old stool, <laughs> old school style logo. Uh, lovely blue. I like that the, the black is the accent color here. Good stuff. Next, Toronto. Okay, very simple, very, it shouldn't be anything other than this. Very classic. You can see the stripe kind of coming back here. Just a logo, boom, big right on the side of the helmet. Good decision. Next, Vancouver with the green cage. Okay. I was actually maybe thinking that we he might go the skate, the skate route, route. Do I say route or do I say route? Hmm. I don't know. It's one of those words that I think I say differently every time. I would have gone the black and 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 red and yellow direction here with the skate jersey and maybe put i think that would look better just personal preference but this one's fine too okay next up vegas golden knights oh man look at the card the card texture coming back here you can see the suits and stuff and then the alternate logo is on the side with the primary logo a little bit busy but not bad at all and then that beautiful like almost like cool gray color that they use yeah great great helmet next up what Wow, this is so good. This, okay, this is my favorite. And this is the last one. Oh no, that's not the last one. These must be named incorrectly. Yeah, 
He's got WAS as the abbreviation. It's actually WSH. Sorry, don't mean to be nitpicky. And then Winnipeg is the uh, last one for this one. But anyways, back to this one. Back to the Washington Capitals. This is great. I think this one is my favorite so far. The American flag that's on there. It's actually a, a, a real image. Again, some, some resolution issues on the background there. But just the flow of this is so nice. It has, it's got life and personality and it's a scene and it's, it symbolizes something and it represents not only the team, not only the city, but the country as well. Fantastic. And then you get the screaming eagle on there as well. Just, this is definitely my favorite so far. Okay. And then the last one is the Winnipeg Jets. And this one is awesome too. I love the, and the logo's been recolorized there. I don't know if I like that, but uh, the Jets font on top of that looks okay. Uh, the, the the stripe is really cool. Looks to be on the on the front or on the forehead there. Um, the okay, I want to go back actually. The Washington's gonna be my favorite. Like I don't even have to go back and think about it. But I want to bring a special call out to Ottawa as well because I think this one was done so well. And it's also white, which is a bit of an uncommon one in this entire set. There's only like I think there was like three, maybe two. And I just think this one is just accented perfectly. A little bit of texture up here in the pattern stuff on the forehead. The logo's perfectly sized and then everything else is a call out to the other colors other than, than white if you want to consider that a color. The red and the black look just great on there. But yeah, why I'll go back to Washington now. This is going to be my favorite just because it's it's the most detailed, it's the most lively, it's the most representative of maybe the city or the team or whatever. So this is good stuff. Tech Matt, thanks for sending those in. I appreciate it. I had fun going through those. I always have fun reacting to designs. It doesn't even matter if it's jerseys or it could be helmets like this or it could be golf clubs. Like, who has reacted to golf club concepts before on the on the internet? Not me, and I bet you no one else, probably because there is no golf club template for people to design with, and it wouldn't make sense. I don't even know why I said that, but that's what we're talking about. But if it existed... I'd react to it, okay? Just saying. So I just, I like, to, I like to view artwork. It doesn't really matter what it is. If you enjoyed this style of uh, video and you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And of course, uh, if you like the, hit the like button, that help, really helps a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Adios. Gotta say stupid stuff sometimes. Golf clubs. What?